Dubai is up in the ante as a meetings destination, with an exciting appointment at the helm of its convention bureau. So, fresh from success in Denmark, meet Steen Jacobson, and let's find out what his plans are for the Emirates. So, Steen, congratulations on the, uh, the appointment. Um, how excited are you? Oh, I'm extremely excited. Uh, moving from uh, Copenhagen to, to Dubai is a wonderful opportunity for me, uh, for sure on the professional side, but also on the, on the personal side. Uh, Dubai is a destination that has extremely high ambitions and uh, being part of that vision uh, going forward between now and 2020 uh, is uh, probably one of the most exciting things I can be part of. Uh, just recently Dubai uh, um, came forward with their 2020 tourism vision which aim at growing uh, the number of visitors between now and, uh, and 2020 by 100 percent. So we'll double the number of visitors coming into du Dubai between now and 2020. That's incredible and of course um, within that particular region um, Dubai is very much seen as a jewel. It's had its problems uh, in recent years but now it's, it seems to be very much very much on the up uh, and because of its um, status already it's well uh, positioned uh, to take off uh, and obviously that, that, that's uh, sort of very well recognized in those plans. Do you find those figures daunting or is it something you're going to embrace and, and feel that it's a very realistic um, proposition? Well, if you look at back at uh, the growth in the last eight years, Dubai has been able to double the number of visitors in eight years. So that gives sufficient ground for believing that within the next seven, eight years, we'll be able to do the same. But it will not happen automatically. We'll need to, to, uh, to have a very, strong, uh, a very strong strategy behind that uh, that looks across the board of different, uh, different market segments and also different uh, geographical markets uh, to drive more growth and more traffic into Dubai. Now, although it's early days, and uh, obviously you don't want to give too much away, but so what are your key targets and what, and what are your key plans initially? Well, if you look at the business events uh, area, which I'm responsible for now, there's uh, three strategies that we will pursue uh, going forward. One will be to target the existing international meetings, conventions and exhibitions and drive them to Dubai. That's the basic work that a convention bureau is doing. We'll, co we'll continue that and we'll strengthen that. Then secondly, there'll be two new strategies that we'll be doing. First one is that we'll do uh, an extra effort to attract international visitors coming to events in Dubai. That's the whole delicate boosting or attendance building uh, uh, side of things and we'll, we'll, we'll have a much stronger focus on that to grow visitor numbers at events in Dubai. And thirdly, we'll be, uh, we'll be uh, 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 pursuing a new strategy in developing new events, new business events uh, that, uh, that can help grow in Dubai, in the region, becoming regional and eventually international events taking place in Dubai. And uh, what sort of techniques are you, are you sort of um, set on with respect to trying to achieve those particular goals? Have you got any ideas at the moment or is that something you're formulating? Well, we already have a, a quite strong team uh, uh, at, the, uh, at the Convention Bureau uh, in Dubai. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll build on that team. Uh, it's been around for many years. Uh, secondly, Dubai has uh, 20 overseas offices. Uh, and in, uh, in uh, quite a few of them, we have uh, people within the meetings uh, uh, area of business events space uh, that are doing uh, sales and promotion for us. Uh, so we're, we're, our aim is to, is to be very visible and to be doing sales work uh, worldwide. How important do you think the local market is now, which is, which is emerging rapidly? Uh, you know, follow the, following the Arab Spring, a lot of the uh, destinations now um, uh, within, um, with, you know, within that particular region have really got their act together. Um, uh, they're really motoring. So presumably that's a very key uh, area for you as well, isn't it? Absolutely it is. So there's a tremendous growth now in the GCC area and we, will, and we will definitely try to tap into that. Dubai has a very special position within that, within that region um, and, uh, and, 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 and getting visitors and, and growing events from that area will definitely be part of our, of our strategy going forward. But also Dubai is very strategically well located to some of the, some of the, some of the future uh, growth markets. Uh, uh, India, uh, Africa, of course, the Middle East, uh, uh, Europe is very close. So, 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 so we have uh, one third of the world population within four hours flights. So that's, that's a for, of course, give a huge uh, uh, opportunity for Dubai. And of course, you're in China right now um, with me at the ICA Congress. Um, you mentioned uh, the other Asian markets. Presumably, China is massively important to Dubai as well. 
China is is, is really important. We uh, we have uh, grown the number of visitors from uh, from China at an incredible speed over the last uh, few years. Now we have close to 300,000 visitors that comes in from China every year, and we expect that number to grow uh, uh, quite a lot in the uh, in the future. We have two offices, uh, one here in Shanghai. We have one in Beijing that obviously are experts on the Chinese market that helps us drive traffic from China uh, to Dubai. So that's very much part of our strategy going forward. And we know the huge numbers uh, in worldwide travel will come from will come from China, and Dubai is definitely looking at getting its fair share of that. Uh, Steen, good luck with the project, and uh, we're all watching closely, and uh, and with great excitement to find out how it goes. Thank you for talking to me. Thank you very much.